chapter seven, practice test number two, another multiple choice question. A child has a toy tied to the end of a string and whirls the toy at a constant speed in a horizontal circular path of radius r. The toy completes each revolution of its motion in a time period t. What is the magnitude of the acceleration of the toy? Okay, so we've got this toy that's moving in a circle of radius r. I know that when that happens, the acceleration is the centripetal acceleration, as long as the, the speed is constant, and it is constant speed. So if that's what's going on, radius r, let's say it was doing this, v, then the acceleration will be the centripetal acceleration, which is um, either v squared over r, or if you want to, you can do omega squared times r. We can go either way here. So None of that's not the answer for any of these. Somehow I need to um, put these in terms of something else that'll match one of these. Well, um, they said that it makes each revolution in a time period t. So I could replace, let's see, I could replace either v is a uh, distance over time, which would be the distance it goes is the circumference all the way around, which would be two pi r, and then the t would be period. Or I could replace omega, oops, not omega squared, just omega. Omega is um, radians per second, and this completes two pi radians per uh, unit of time. So I could do Oops, oops, yeah, that's an equal sign. I could do two pi radians divided by period, okay? Let's see what happens when I put either one of those into this equation up here. So if I put it in this side, I'm trying to keep a, there we go. If I put it in this side, I get that AC is, ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Ugh, so this gotta be squared before pi, squared r squared 4 pi squared r squared uh, over t squared and then I still had that r on the bottom so it'd be like this and one of those r's would go away and I'd get this 4 pi squared r over t squared if I put it over here then I get omega squared so that's this so 4 pi squared over t squared um, and then still times r Notice, same equation, either way. Either way you get four pi squared r over t squared, which is four pi squared r over t squared, which is letter B.